podcast. What if I told you there was an AI better than ChatGPT that you probably have never even heard of? Would you believe me? Amazon is investing up to $4 billion. Dollars. The artificial intelligence powered chatbots to rival chatbots. Turbulent chat day from artificial intelligence company OpenAI. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tech Talk. Today, we're going to talk about AI. 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 And let's look into why I believe Claude is the future of artificial intelligence. Anthropic, founded in 2021 by CEO Dario Amore and his sister Daniela, is the company behind the AI system. Anthropic is not just another startup, it's a powerhouse fueled by a mission. Their mission? Crafting AI systems we can rely on while being the torchbearer of research on thrilling possibilities and potential pitfalls of AI. In simpler terms, they're dedicated to AI safety and the responsible creation and usage of artificial intelligence. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Anthropic isn't your run-of-the-mill startup. It's a public benefit corporation marrying profit with purpose. Their ethos isn't just about making a buck, it's about positively impacting society and the global community. And they're not just navigating this journey alone. It's got the backing of tech giants like Amazon and Google, who threw a cool $300 million into Anthropic's ventures this year, valuing the company at a staggering $4.1 billion. Claude AI was officially released in March 2023, with Claude 2 swiftly following suit in July 2023. Imagine working for a company that produced a product, then leaving that company to produce the same product but only better. Well, that's exactly what these siblings did, as they actually used to work for OpenAI on the GPT-3 model, and well, now they're competing with them. So what exactly is Claude AI, and why is it the future of artificial intelligence? Well, what better way to introduce this AI than to ask it? I asked Claude to briefly introduce themselves, and this is what they had to say. I am an AI-based conversational assistant powered by advanced natural language processing. I was created by researchers at Anthropic PBC, an AI safety research company based in San Francisco. My goal is to be helpful, harmless, and honest. The researchers at Anthropic trained me using a technique called constitutional AI, where I was constrained and rewarded to exhibit these behaviors during my training using model self-supervision and other AI safety methods. So it seems as if Claude AI has a pretty good understanding of what it is. Both Claude and ChatGPT rely on reinforcement learning to train a preference model over their outputs, and preferred generations are used for later fine tunes. However, the method used to develop these preference models differs, with Anthropic favoring an approach they call constitutional AI. So what exactly is constitutional AI? At its core, constitutional AI is the convergence of legal frameworks, particularly constitutional principles with AI systems. The goal is to embed and ensure AI operations are in alignment with the legal and ethical principles enshrined in national constitutions or other foundational legal documents. Ask yourself these questions. How does a language model decide which questions it will engage with and which it deems inappropriate? Why will it encourage some actions and discourage others. What values might a language model have? Anthropic's recently published research on constitutional AI provides one answer by giving language models explicit values determined by a constitution rather than values determined implicitly via large-scale human feedback. This isn't a perfect approach, but it does make the values of the AI system easier to understand and easier to adjust as needed. So which constitution does Claude pull from? Well, there's a lot, but to name a few, the UN Declaration of Rights, and, well, the Apple Terms of Service. Unveiled in a groundbreaking research paper last December, Anthropic's AI model training process embraces a two-phase constitutional approach. First, the model engages in a spirited dance with a set of principles, critiquing and refining its responses. Then, in a twist, reinforcement learning taps into AI-generated feedback to cherry-pick outputs that lean towards the harmless spectrum. Claude doesn't just navigate adversarial inputs with finesse. It does so while delivering responses that are not only more appropriate, but also sidestep the familiar evasion tactic often seen in AI language models, the notorious as an AI language model dodge. It's a testament to the dynamic and effective nature of Anthropic's innovative approach. 
This is what makes Cloud AI different from other chatbots like ChatGPT or Google Bard, who need to wait for human feedback and input to decide which responses it should refuse to answer. Constitutional AI allows us to align our artificial intelligence systems with human morals and constitutions, pretty much guaranteeing that these AIs won't go rogue on us and try to take over the entire world. Cloud AI has become even more useful with Anthropic's recent release of Cloud 2.1, which can now interpret up to 200,000 tokens, which equals roughly 500 pages of information, among other updates like a decrease in hallucination rates, which pretty much means that the chatbot will lie less. New system prompts and tool usage, including searching the web or using a calculator, and even updated pricing. Not to mention, you can now connect API tools to Claude and it will choose the best one on your specific task. Anthropic also rolled out a game-changing update to its developer console. Now equipped with a test window, developers can dive into a hands-on experience, experimenting with novel prompts to witness the AI's capabilities firsthand. But that's not all. The company introduced Claude with custom persistent instructions. Much like the customization available with GPT-4, this feature allows users to tailor the chatbot's responses, sculpting its personality to align with the specific preferences or desires desired characteristics. So how does Claude 2.1 compare to a model like GPT-4 Turbo? Well, it's nearly two times more capable, as GPT-4 Turbo only has 128,000 tokens compared to Claude's 200,000, making it the largest context window offered by a publicly available AI tool. Anthropic says that Claude 2.1 will be able to summarize, perform Q&As, forecast trends, compare and contrast multiple documents, and much more more, and expects the latency to decrease substantially as the technology develops. With OpenAI going through a midlife crisis, having recently fired then reinstating its CEO Sam Altman, there's no telling what the future of that company will look like. Meanwhile, Anthropic and Claude AI seem to have a bright future ahead, and there's no telling what the possibilities for this AI hold.